Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It has been super duper long. I know. It's been a lot going on, as you can tell by the title. <laughs> uh, so today's video is just going to be me basically breaking the news and being more open with my situation and what's going on. So, as you can tell by the title, I am pregnant. I am currently nine weeks and like five days. Sunday, I will be ten weeks. Every Sunday, I turn a week. And honestly, it's been a journey. It's, it's honestly set me back. <laughs> well, not set me back. But it's it's been a challenge for me, like between telling my parents, well, telling my dad, and just like well, him, me not actually telling him, he actually found out, and he talked to me about it. So between that and just like dealing with school, finals is coming up. I'm not doing well at all. I've been super duper sick with symptoms. Like, it's just been so much going on. And, okay, so I guess I'm going to just get into how I found out this and that or whatever. So, conception, if you don't know what that is, that's when it happened. Basically happened the weekend of my birthday. And that was September the 27th, but the the day it happened was like that Saturday. So it was like, my birthday was on a Friday. The conception happens like the 28th. So from the moment I found out, me personally, I was excited. I've always wanted kids, you know, like I didn't see it as a burden. I didn't see it as a problem. I just was scared of society's, you know, look on it and society. I mean, I'm 21, so I'm not, you know, young or anything. But, you know, society, it doesn't matter with society because they're going to judge you, you know, say whatever they want to anyway. So I was kind of scared to tell people. I don't think I told anybody. Well, I kind of did. I told my best friend. I told her. She was the first person to know. My best friend knew first. I came to her job where we work at the same place. Came to her job and I was like, hey, how you doing? I came outside to speak to her. And I was like, you know, you doing good or whatnot. We just casual talking. And I was just like, yep, I'm pregnant. And I just walked away because, like, she had to do other stuff. And I didn't want to hold up any longer. And I just walked away. And. She was just like, I was like, yep. And I walked away and I was just like, I was nervous, but her reaction calmed me down and actually made me feel so much better than I was feeling because I was so scared and nervous of what people were going to say and think. And honestly, every p person that I've told thus far has just been ecstatic about it, especially my sisters and brothers. They was ecstatic. They was happy. My um, dad was happy once he once he told me that he knew. He was happy, you know. He was like, I don't need stress in my life right now. So he's just going to keep positive thoughts. He was like, he's not disappointed. That was the talk I was really scared to have. You know, nobody wants to have that talk with their dad, especially when he, because he expects so much from me, especially with everything going on with my mom, which will be another video that I'll upload because, that's why I haven't been on YouTube in so long because of the situation that happened with my mom. And so, like, my biggest fear with telling him was disappointment and, and then knowing what he was going through with my mom, I didn't want to just put something else on to him, you know, and just, it just felt like everything was, it wasn't the right time. And so he ended up finding out, which I was thankful, so thankful for. And, yeah, pretty much that's it. I'm 10 weeks. Not 10 weeks, I'm 9 weeks. I'll be 10 weeks soon. I don't think I'm showing, but I'm not sure. Like, I am i don't have a flat stomach, but I don't have a big stomach. So, it's 
kind of hard for me to tell, but I'll show y'all my, my stomach. This is my stomach, but it's because I'm sitting down. It's so chunky like that. But um, like I said, I'm nine weeks currently. My baby's the size of a olive. So an olive is about, about that big, maybe. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating. Maybe about that big. So my baby is an inch now. Guilty. I haven't been to the doctor yet. I have not, like, for my first appointment, like, with a blood, draw your blood, all of that stuff. I haven't been. Um, I know y'all probably like, why you haven't been to the doctor? This and that. Honestly, y'all, y'all do not understand what I'm going through right now. And I know, okay, the health of my baby is super duper important. And I really care about my baby. And I really want to make sure my baby is fine. But it's just where I'm at right now in my life. I just, I'm trying to take a break. I'm trying to breathe. It's just so much going on. And so, I'm going to go soon. I'm going to go super duper soon. And by the time I go, I'll know the gender. So, everything will kind of line up. Because by the time I go... Honestly, with how booking is at this um, hotel that, not hotel, Lord have mercy, at this hospital that I'm attending, at this women's group place that I'm going to, they literally, last time I called for an appointment, it was like two weeks after I called. Like, they was like, it was like the first week when I called, and they gave me a week, two weeks after. So, I know they they get a lot of business, so it's going to be hard for me to get in there, you know as soon as possible as much as I want to but I'm just gonna have to be patient and then I won't even be able to get a sonogram on my first appointment it'll have to be whenever they schedule me for the next time and so I'll still have to wait another appointment to find out you know the gender of my baby which I'm gonna do a gender reveal I need ideas so if y'all have any ideas please let me know down in the comments below I'm new to this I don't me personally I'm super duper excited I've just been feeling like crap, so it's been like, I've been moping around. I haven't been trying to, but I'm telling y'all, y'all don't understand. It's different strokes for different folks. Some people have had an easy going pregnancy, like no symptoms, no nothing. Me, on the other hand, I've thrown up every day. I freaking, I have indigestion. I, I feel like when I'm eating, like, it's a ball of, like, something in my throat, like, right here. Like, I feel like every time I swallow, it's something stuck in my throat. Y'all, that is the most annoying feeling in the world. I smell stuff, and I want to gag. Like, and everything, of course, is stronger. The smells are stronger. It has just been, like, crazy. And I don't know. Like, I've been scared to go to the doctor i just been scared to do so much stuff, and I just want to do it because I want to, you know, go ahead and make sure my baby's okay and everything's going on good because I've been having pains, too. Not, like, excruciating pains, but, like, like it'll be pains in my legs. And I heard they said your legs cramp up a lot when you're pregnant. Like, it'll be pains in my leg and and my stomach will hurt when I wake up in the morning. Like, little stuff like that, and I just be so scared. Like, what is something going on that I don't know about? And I'm taking prenatal vitamins. Y'all, I've been battling with these prenatal vitamins. Like, at first, I went to Fred's and got the gummies, the, like, on-brand gummies. I forgot what kind of brand they were. I got those. Started taking them when I first found out I was pregnant. I started taking them, whatever. I found out I was I was at four weeks when, when I found out that I was pregnant. I was at four weeks. And... Started taking those after I got later on in the pregnancy. They started to make me nauseous. Like the smell of the pills, everything. Like when I took them, I wanted to gag them up. Like they just were nasty. I was just like, I need something else. So I stopped taking the gummies, which I shouldn't have did. I stopped taking the gummies for like a month. So I wasn't taking any, any prenatal vitamins my whole second month of my pregnancy. I'm in my third month now. So I just started back taking these prenatal vitamins. And so I was like, I need to get some more vitamins. I need to start back taking my vitamins. And I went to Walmart to get some prenatal vitamins. Y'all, I got the vitamins, paid for them, got home. I was like, okay, let me go ahead and take one of these vitamins after I eat something. Ate something, got ready to take the vitamin. The vitamins were open. 
literally y'all like they they were just like this they had a cap on them and somebody had them poked a hole in them and i swear like y'all that was just it for me like i was just like oh my freaking gosh like if it's not one thing i swear like it's literally another and so i was everybody was like well you should return them you should do this like i don't have the energy for that because i didn't even i didn't even want to drive to the place that i went to i didn't even want to drive when i went out because my sister had um invited us to this um dinner that she was having and so i went and i had a good time or whatever but i really didn't want to drive but come to find out i had to drive because due to other situations and i really didn't want to and i wasn't feeling good i wasn't finna go back and so i just decided to buy some more so i bought some more these of course i made sure weren't open and i bought these and i started taking these just regular prenatal vitamins because i haven't been prescribed any by the doctor because i haven't been to the doctor i went to confirm the pregnancy when i was four weeks i went to confirm it because i was like well I'm pregnant, you know, I just came to confirm. And y'all, the lady was just so no. Like, my experience was just crazy. Like, I went in there, they had me waiting forever. And I already knew I was pregnant. Like, I'm not stupid because I had took two tests. I took one and it was very faint. And then I waited like two or three days later. And then I took another one and it wasn't as faint as the other one. So I was like, I'm pregnant. Like, Tests don't lie. There's no, it's no science to it. I peed on the stick. I didn't miss my period. I'm pregnant. Like, there's no rocket science. And so, um, you know, I wasn't that type of denial. I wasn't in denial. Like, I, I was like, if I'm pregnant, I'm just pregnant. I just need to start doing what I need to do. And then, so, what happened? I got there at the um, doctor's place. And I was like, well, I'm, I think I'm pregnant. I want to confirm it. So that was like, okay, well, we'll see you in a minute. So I sat down. And mind you, other people was in there so I, before me, so I wasn't really rushing them. I'm saying when they took me to the back, when they called my name to the back, literally I sat in that room for her to come back and tell me that I was pregnant, which I already knew for like 45 minutes. Because they seen me. They went to the back, took my weight, did all the height and all that stuff. And then... Like, the lady was like, okay, well, you just wait in this room right here. So, I went in the room waiting. I'm anxious. I'm scared. Like, what's going on? Because it was like 45 minutes. And the lady hadn't came. And then she finally came and she was like, like, she was just like, I was like, what? And she was like, well, um, she was like, you definitely, she said, uh, the test came back positive. I was like, okay. She was like, well. She was like, don't drop out of school. I was looking like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Lady, I'm not going to drop out of school. Why is that like even in your mind that I would drop out of school? Like that didn't make sense to me. And I felt, that I've, I've, I found that very offensive. Like you just assume, hey, don't drop out of school. You know, like. And then me knowing where I, where I came from, my mom had a child at a young age. My sister had a child at a young age. All of them, they, they went to school, finished school. You know, it didn't matter when they finished. They finished. My sister actually finished, like, straight off. She didn't stop or nothing. Like, she literally finished. And so I'm like, I come from a strong family. And not only that, I'm a strong-willed person. I'm not going to stop school. And if I do, it's because of something I can't control. Like, say, for instance, I can't pay for school and I get kicked out. Okay, then I will stop going to school. But no, like, don't, because of a child, like, I'm not that. And so that really hurt me. And then she was like, well, honestly, she was like, this could be anything. She was like, you never know. It could be a miscarriage. And I was just like, really, lady? Like, I'm not mad that I'm pregnant. I don't care. I was like, like, and I was so ready to get up out of there. Like, she, she wrote down that I was four weeks. And I was just like, let me go. Because I just can't with this lady. Like, she was really pissing me off. Because she was just like, no. Like, and I don't want to hear that. I'm already scared. And it's like, okay, I'm I'm scared, but I'm not scared. I'm scared from a point of, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, 
telling my dad and stuff like that. I don't care. I'm not mad. I'm, I just feel like, hey, I'm pregnant, you know? Like, there's nothing wrong with that. And she just made it seem horrible, and especially when she said it could be a miscarriage, you know, you never know. So she was basically like, don't, don't, don't think this is the end. I was like, I'm, I'm not even mad. Like, like, I don't know where she got that impression that I was just this whole mad person. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Like, no, I didn't even walk in there like that. I didn't care. And so from then on, I knew, of course, that I was pregnant. Basically doing stuff, you know. I, then I wasn't having any symptoms, of course, because I had just found out. Like, it's really no symptoms other than your breast being very tender. Then the second month came. And everything just hit me like a freaking brick. And it was horrible. And I'm still dealing with, like, nausea, indigestion, all that. And it's been, it's been a journey. I'm just honestly ready to get it over with. And I've been so scared because I've been watching these videos of people having babies and these C-sections. And I'm not ready for that. And I know... Of course, once I get let on the pregnancy, I'm going to be like, get this baby out of me. And I'm so ready to feel like that. Because right now, I'm like, keep it in as long as it can stay because I'm scared it's free. But I'm me personally, I'm going to try to do um, water birth. I haven't been telling a lot of people that. And I haven't, of course, told my doctor because I haven't seen a doctor. So I want to do a water birth or a home birth. Most likely, around the time I get ready to have my child, I'll either be back home or I'll have my own apartment. One or the other, I don't know what really is going to transpire. I don't know what God has in store, but one of those other things are going to happen. So I'm just going to wait at, wait it out and see and hopefully, mm, but I do want to do natural birth. But yeah, that's all the talking I'm going to do for today. Next video is basically going to be me, I guess, I don't know, I think updates, I do updates every day kind of, every day kind of vlogs, checking in, whatever, because this has been a journey, and I know I'm not the only one who's been going through, you know, and then people like, like I said, people have different bodies, so my experience may not be your experience, or your experience may, my, my, may not be mine, but yeah, so I'll just be Going from my point of view, showing y'all my stomach growing. So, yeah, I'll probably start at 10 weeks and then do the little thing where I show my stomach every week and do the little countdown thing. But, yeah, that's all for today. I'm sorry for talking to you guys' heads off. It's just been so long, so I had a lot to catch you guys up on. So, yeah, that's it for today. Bye.